How's it going, Joker fam? It's your boy, Haha ha Joker, aka the Black Joker, back at it again. Another Madden video for you guys. So, if this is your first time checking out one of my videos, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe to the channel, so support always means a lot. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump straight into this video. Now, today is going to be a little bit of a different kind of video for me. I'm going to be talking about a few things dealing with going from Madden 20 to Madden 21. And things that I expect to see in Madden 21. Alright. But before we get into that, we're going to get into this boring stuff with the power-up expansions. Now, I'm not sure of all the players. I don't know if I'm going to be able to list them all off the top of my head. But um, I know one of them is T.O. for the power-up expansion. So Terrell Owens is getting one. Um, Bruce Matthews is getting one. The uh, Legend card. Uh, Bradley Chubb is getting one. Jason Wetton is getting one. And I can't think of the rest of them. But honestly, at this point in the year, it's, oh, another one is Darnell Dockett. And I think under there's another D tackle too, if I'm not mistaken, but it doesn't matter. That's who we have for the power of expansion. So I, I really can care less about any of those players anymore, but it is what it is. Now, Madden 21. As you guys know, you've seen the video at least you should have seen it already they have an official trailer out no gameplay yet but they do have an official trailer out one thing that i noticed that was brought up quite a bit whether it be on other youtubers accounts whether it be crowler saying it whether it be on twitter this skill skill stick thing that they are going to have in man 21 now this this uh, pretty much allows you to strain together multiple moves or whatever the case is. Understand, we don't need that. Okay? We really don't. As the Madden community, we don't need that. Like, I don't understand. Here's my problem, right? Madden is supposed to get their game as close to realistic as possible. That That is their purpose for their game. Okay, that's what they want to do. I don't know if anybody at EA is watching these Madden tournaments, but if you haven't realized, two of your major tournaments have been won by people who don't have the most important position in their game, in their lineup, just quarterback. Somebody won your last Madden tournament, the very last Madden tournament, with a punter at quarterback and you think we need something called skill stick that that's that's what you think Madden 21 needs all right anyways it's ridiculous that the idea that that's is you're going to, one of your openers is that kind of speaks volumes of what Madden 21 is going to be about next year but it is what it is. Some of the things that I would want to see personally from Madden 21, like maybe four key points. Probably one of them is pretty petty, but I'm going to go ahead and discuss it anyways. One of them being is AI control. Now, regardless of what you guys think about this game, really doesn't matter. This game's very bad as far as what the AI does and what it doesn't do. Okay, now a lot of this kind of plays a part into another one of my things that I hope is changed, which is zones. These two go hand in hand. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about zones real quick while I pull you guys up this clip that I that I took down. Now, now, as you guys know, zones are very bad in this game. But why are zones so bad? It's because the computer, well, yeah, in, in a nutshell, the computer is just terrible at playing zones properly. Now, as it is, I really do think it's going to be the same thing next year since Madden, people, EA making Madden 21 think that skill stick is something that's must needed in this game. I do think that zone coverage will still be an issue. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this clip of what I'm talking about. Now, this is in Weekend Leak, of course, where all my fun stuff happens in Weekend Leak. And I'm playing against another TT. TT 
TTV player. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let this play out real quick. And I'm going to let you guys see it for yourselves. Okay, now, some of you guys might just see that as, okay, whatever, you know what it is. Like, here's my problem with this, all right? Now, the ball's tipped up. I'm going to pause it right here. Now, as you guys can see, I'm playing this, all right? Number one, that should have been a pick. We're going to just start off with that, all right? I'm on top of this route. This is a terrible read. I don't know what this guy is looking at. If you guys look to your right, Moss, I think that's Moss, is completely wide open. So this was a terrible read. He shouldn't have been making this read. But he did anyways. So the ball should have been picked off. But we're, we're, I digress. Anyways, ball's tipped up. Ball's in the air. Night Train Lane has 99 speed on my team. This ball 100% should be picked off okay i don't know why it wouldn't be balls tipped up i've seen taylor mays i've seen calvin johnson get picks like this all the time so why can't night train lane do it now some of you guys that might be you know up for debate me okay so i'm gonna go ahead and show you another one of kind of what i'm talking about and while i do this i'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys about this whole ai control thing now regardless of what my clips tell you the ai does dumb out quite quite a bit all right and not only dumb out sometimes on defense my ai will swat a pass for no reason ball thrown directly to them but they'll swat it down don't know why now the only players on my team that i've seen go for picks are taylor mays without abilities and ronnie lott and in one of these clips, Ronnie Lott does dumb out too. Now, as it is, is that anything I can do about it? No. The AI is in position to make a play. I expect them to make a play. Now, you can make the argument, well, you can just go ahead and click on and just press Y and you can make the play. Yeah, you're probably right. But sometimes for short routes, I'm not, I can't, I can't click on and press Y that quick. Now, if it's for a deep pass, yeah, I'll do that. But certain instances, if a ball gets thrown out quick, I, if the CPU was there, I expect the CPU to make a pick. Now, as you guys know, in the coaching adjustments, they have an adjustment to where you can swap ball only. I would hope next year they will have an adjustment to where you can only go for picks. Just saying. You got one, you should have the other. There's a conservative, there's an aggressive. If you're going to have swap ball... I used to think play ball help you get picks. It doesn't. I've had play ball on, on entire games, and I'll still see play, players swap balls. Don't know why. If you're going to have a swap ball only, there needs to be a pick only also. All right? Give us more control over the things that we can't control. All we start off controlling is one player, and then that's it. All right? Everything else is up to the AI. So, you know, it is what it is. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this clip. Fast forward this. Uh, this is actually on offense. So let me see. I completely forgot what happened in this clip. I'm not going to lie. But I'm pretty sure it's something fun. So let's see what happens. Okay. Now, here's another AI fun thing that happens. <clears throat> Run play. All right, should have been a touchdown. Easy. Now, everything is blocked the way I expected to be blocked. All right. Now, as I hook this turn, Waller should be picking up this corner that is still dropping back. That's what should happen. Okay. Now, I don't know why, but up to this point, Waller decides to then shuffle and then completely miss the corner. Now, if he picks this up, I'm gone. All right, I like I get it. Taylor Mays is fast, but if I take that right angle, I, I should be gone. Okay, 
or that right angle, that left angle to the pylon, I should be gone without a problem. But Waller doesn't block him. All right. I don't know why he dumbed out like this, but he did. And now he's completely turned around and just completely out of the play. Now you can see where Maze is at. If I can, if he wasn't there, if Peters wasn't there and he was blocked, I can literally just take that off to the left side, potentially have a touchdown. Okay. But we will never know because Waller dumbed out and didn't throw a block. So, you know, fun stuff, man. Fun stuff. And here's the thing. I do expect to see more of this in Madden 21. Understand, guys. Madden 21 has been putting out just bad games for quite some time. So don't think that Madden 21 is going to be... Or Madden, yeah, Madden has been putting out bad games for quite a long time. Don't think Madden 21 is going to be any different. All right? Now, again, am I going to get it? Of course. Because it's the only football game that I can play. And I like football. All right? Am I going to get the MVP? Absolutely. If I want to, I don't buy games too often. But if I'm going to buy a game, I'm going to buy the best version of that game. Okay, it's just that simple. Now, a lot of people, you shouldn't. You really shouldn't. There's no need. But for me, I'm going to. All right, it's just that simple. But I would hope that some of these things do get fixed. Like I said, zones don't play well. The AI plays like absolute crap, and there needs to be an uh. An advanced settings or something for the coaching adjustment. Something needs to change. All right. And I'm going to show you guys just one more clip. All right. Just one more. Because there was a play that Ronnie Lott did dumb out. And I want that to be seen of what I'm talking about. And I think it's this one. It definitely well could be this one. And the same things that were a problem this Madden, they're going to be a problem next Madden. So I think it's the play after this. So crossers and corner routes, they're going to be the same problem next Madden because if they don't fix these issues, if they don't fix the zones and everything like that, you're going to run into the same issues. That's obvious. <laughs> okay. So this wasn't this wasn't lot, but this was maze. So here's what I want to show you guys. All right. Now. Bam, I'm going to stop it right here. Maze did a good job on Moss. All right? He pressed him out. He has him on the outside, even though Moss is already running an outside route regardless. He's still on top of that route. Okay? Now, for whatever reason, right here, Maze is still dropping back to Moss, which is what he's supposed to do. Everything, for the most part, should be covered. This is what zone coverage is is supposed to look like all right very simple nitro lane has that deep route me as a user i'm taking this angle route which is bo jackson and um ronnie lott i believe should be taking that loop route that's going to the right everything is boxed at least it should be some reason at this point in time this anything that's thrown right now should be picked okay there's a little bit of separation up top but that's going over to dion dion has over top that should be picked i got the underneath gronkowski's covered um by a lot and um another player i don't even know who that is out there and taylor mays should have that um left side left side of the field all right balls thrown this should be picked I should not have to click on for this to be picked off. Should not have to. But apparently, I do. Because that's an absolute dimer. Why? That's absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I got one more for you guys. Because I know a lot dumbed out one time on me, man. I got one more for you guys. And some of you guys do like these. Y'all think y'all think the shit's funny. It is funny. But it's not funny when this shit happens like live in game. It's not funny at all. Alright. So this one might be the one. We're on defense on this one, so let's find out real quick. Yeah, this could be it because Ronnie Lott is playing over Oh no, wait, that's a run play. Not that. So we're fast forward through it. Okay, so it could be this play here. All right, so let's see what we got here. 
It might be this one. Yes. All right. Bet. Now, once again, I I don't know if it's the if it's the abilities or whatever the case is. I don't know. Okay. As you guys can see, everything's kind of jumbled up right now. Hold on. I'm going to actually play it a little bit more. All right. Bam. Right here. We're going to stop it right here. Everything, for the most part, should be bagged and boxed. Okay. Ronnie Lott has a decision to make between both these receivers taking these streaks. But I'm personally taking the corner out. I'll give up the short pass. All right. People nine times out of ten don't throw short passes. They want to air it out. So, you can see Anthony Barr, he presses, and he let, he's going to let him go, obviously, because he's in a quarterback spy. Clowney should have gotten to Lamar, but whatever. But anyways, I'm taking the corner out, because I don't want him to throw the corner out. But Lot should be able to play either side of this. Now, right here. What I'm seeing, I don't know about y'all, but what I'm seeing right now is a pick joker you could click on to that i probably could have and you're absolutely right i probably should have but i didn't understand something guys the ai does go for picks it can swap passes why is it that neither one of those happen now granted understand this too I didn't move Lot in position. The AI moved Lot into position to be where he's at. Okay? So if I play this back just a little bit, all right, you can see where Lot's at. He takes the initiative to start going over to where the receiver's thrown at. He's already going over there to make a play. But yet, this is what I get instead. Nothing. I get nothing. I click on late. And I'm, and, I, and I'm screwed. Alright. Now. I got a bunch of those instances that happened. I can't record everything. Because at the moment of me being pissed off. I'm not thinking about recording these things. But I got some like that. And it's just the way it is. Now. With those two issues aside. The other issue. Like I said. Run game needs to be tuned. If you're going to put run stick in this game. You need to do something to help the defense. Okay, it's just that simple. Um, that one's very quick. And the last thing, this is what this is the petty one, but I've seen it happen a few times in weekend league. There needs to be an accuracy cut in half, something. If you're going to run backwards and then throw a ball, something needs to happen to your accuracy. I do not care if you have dashing dead eye and you are technically on the run. You are running backwards, the opposite direction. You should not be able to be running the opposite direction, like looking at your end zone, okay? Running that way, and then press a button, and then your quarterback just loops around and then throws an absolute dimer downfield. That should never, ever happen, okay? That one's a little petty, but regardless, it shouldn't be happening. Either way, what I expect from Madden 20, 21, more of the same but Madden 20. High octane run games, bad zones, and animation based fun. Why? Because that's all EA is known for putting out as of lately. So expect more of that. Expect to see it. All and honestly, I want to sell off my team pretty quickly just to get it done and out the way. But as it is, they're still pushing out power-up expansions. And we still have players that could possibly get power-up expansions. Dave Dave Casper still could get one. Nambi Asamoah can still get one. Tracy Porter can still get one. There, there are a few that can still get power-up expansions. And I want to be able to put that content out for you guys. Okay, that's one reason I'm going to stay on this game. And two... I don't think they're going to give us an Ultimate Legend, but if by off chance they do decide to, I would want to put that out for you guys because UOs are still going on. And who knows? 
There's still a whole month left before we even start talking about the release of Madden 21. We still got the whole month of July left to go. So, could we possibly get another promo? Yeah. Do I think we're going to get another promo? No. I 100% I don't think we're getting a promo, period. Like, if it was, if it was left up to me, and the only thing that could have stopped me right now from selling my whole team was on the off chance EA gives me a promo, gives us a promo, I, I, would, I would just go ahead and sell my team. Because that's how much, how, that's how sure I am that they're not going to give us a promo. All right? But who, who knows? Who knows with EA anymore? But as it is, Raiders theme team gameplay, I will be posting one up tomorrow for you guys. It's been a minute since y'all seen these boys rock out. So I will be posting that. Again, guys, don't expect too much from Madden 21. All right? I'm telling y'all now, keep your expectations low. As you should. It's just the way it is. But as far as rookie premieres go, I do plan on getting all the rookie premier players. Uh, once I sell off my team, I'll go ahead, pick up everybody, or I'll at least do it like right before they, um, right before, because I know it's like only like 20 something days left. I'll pick, I'll pick up everybody before then. Um, if I got to sell off my team by then, then I'll do it. Right now we're saving up our coins. Right now we're at 800K. So, you know, I'm just going to be, slowly but surely just getting all the rookie premieres done as quickly as possible so if, if, if anything i'll probably just get rid of my main theme team all right i'll try to keep lamar because lamar is my best pull of this year i will try my best to keep that card and like just to have it just you know like like i pulled that i'm happy about that kind of thing so i'll probably just sell off my main team just keep my theme team and i'll probably just run madden the rest of the time being for with that I'll probably do something like that. So we'll see what happens. But but either way, guys, that's going to be it in the video. Make sure you guys drop some likes on the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Joker family support always means a lot. To the next one, guys. Peace.